Hi everyone, let's have a look at what the hell has been going on in the chart, starting with this alternative scenario from yesterday, where we were looking for a wave A or W, B or X, and then a C or Y. Now I say an alternative because at that moment in time when price was pushing to the upside, the most likely scenario from an Elliott wave perspective was to see a wave 4, another wave 5, where as you can see volume was increasing with this move to the upside. And then what you want to see is volume decreasing during a wave 4 and then in a wave 5 the volume should be lower than in a wave 3. So this is something that I was looking for at that moment in time. However, as you can now see, price moved to the downside violently which was then the alternative scenario where I said if this is a wave A or a wave W, wave B or X has to retrace really really deep in order for the most common target area of a wave C or a wave Y, which is between the 1 and the 1.236, to be below this high over here at 31k. Because if this is a 5-wave impulsive structure to the downside, the corrective 3-wave structure is not allowed to go above the high at 31k. So you want to see the most common target area below the high over here. And that is what we got. Now, in all honesty, I did not expect this to happen, right? Yes, we had an alternative scenario where I mentioned price has to retrace really, really deep to about the 886 in order for the one to one to still be below the high over here. But I did not see this happen at all, right? So yes, we had a scenario um, that's good. But uh, yeah, this is, was uh, quite a surprise. I was actually at a party when this happened as well. So we moved to the downside really, really violently. Why did we stop here, right? Why is price bouncing over here? It didn't even take the lows, right? It just bounced at the 886 and we moved up. Well, we have two confluences in this area. First, the daily naked point of control at 27.4K that we had over here, which was a fresh one from the day over here, the 25th. And we also had the current weekly point of control at 27,350, which basically means that throughout this week, the most volume has been traded here as well. Plus, we also had the point of control of this range. So that basically means there is volume here. And besides the levels I just mentioned, we also had bullish divergences over here. Now, what is important to know with bullish divergences is it has to do with big positions. So if someone is absorbing the short, so if we have bullish long position or a, a bullish CVD to the upside, right? So we have bullish CVD, it basically means that the shorts over here are being absorbed. And as you can see on the chart on the 15 minute, if I go to this particular area you and you look at the yellow line, you can see that we made higher highs or higher lows on the price, but we made with the yellow line lower lows on the CVD, which means shorts were being absorbed by a bigger position. So besides the volume over here of the point of control, the daily naked point of control and the current weekly point of control, you also had a very big position absorbing shorts to push it to the upside, which you can imagine the stop loss of that big position is at least break even if not already in profit. Price then moved to the downside, likely tacked out that big position, took all the liquidity of the point of control and all the other confluences that I had, bounced on the 886 and now continues again to the upside. Now the one to one for this scenario, so this is now a very important resistance. The one to one over here is right inside my target box between 30.2k and 30.4k, where we also have a daily, a weekly, and we had the current monthly point of control. And I say had, but, so it does mean it's an important uh, level from a volume point of view, but I say had because now the current monthly point of control of the month of April moved down to 27,925, but that only happened after this drop. So you have to realize that also this level over here is a very high volume area because till this happened, the current month point of control was at this area over here, right? At the target box that I just mentioned. So this is now very important resistance for the Bitcoin price, where we have to wait and see how price is gonna move to the upside, but a potential setup in this particular scenario, based on the scenario that I, that I have in front of me, would be to put the stop loss above the high, the target yet to be determined, right? But it's at least some sort of a short scenario. And then eventually, Let's put that in the folder as well. The entry is going to be at the one to one. Now, this is, of course, educational. You have to do what you have to do. You know, you have your own plan, your own strategy. But this could be a potential scenario, depending on how price is going to move to the upside. Because then again, if price is going to move to the upside very impulsively, like it did over here, 
shorts are generally not recommended, right? So if we see high volume kicking in at the moment, volume is slowing down a bit, but if the volume is going to pick up to the upside, this scenario is invalidated. You don't want to be part of that, right? But if price moves up and maybe starts ranging a little bit and whatever happens over here, and you see the signs based on your strategy, your entry requirement, your plan for a potential entry, you could, of course, potentially take it because most important is you trade your plan and your strategy. But based on Elliott Waves and the scenario that I have in front of me, this could be a potential setup over here. So after that, we then expect a move to the downside where this then is a five wave move. So a five, three and then a five wave move to the downside where I still have the yellow target box at the bottom as potentially an interesting target, which is between 24.850 and 24.3K, where we have definitely a lot of confluences. So that is very, very interesting. The invalidation over here will be removed. So the moment this invalidation uh, is removed means that price went above this high. So the current invalidation is if price moves below this low, as long as the high is not taken, the moment price goes up and takes the high, this invalidation will be removed. Also, we have news this week. Please keep that in mind. If I go to the uh, news section over here at 2.30 p.m. today, Central East European time, we have a high impact news over here. I have no idea what it means. I just know news equals volatility. So make sure that at 2.30 p.m., which is around here over for me on the chart. This is 2, but 2.30 p.m. because I'm on the hourly. Make sure you trade safe, right? If we then go to a unfinished scenario that I'm working on, I'm actually trying to figure this uh, stuff out. So in this scenario, this is not a five wave structure, but a three wave structure. So we have a W, an X, and then an A, B, C, and a Y, where the Y, or at, I should actually say wave C, in this being an A, B, C, hit the most common target of a wave C between the 1 and the 1.236. The 1.618, however, is not very clean. So that is taken from the high of W to the low of W to the high of X. And then the 1.618 is a rare target for a wave Y. And as you can see, price moved below quite a lot of times. Like it spent a lot of time below the 1.618. So that's not that clean. But because of everything that happened over here, I have at least been, you know, it's also called correction unfinished. Uh, I have been working a little bit or thinking a little bit like, is this maybe a three wave structure followed by another maybe three wave structure and then eventually a move down again. So I do expect eventually another move to the downside based on the action that we had over here, either something like this or moving up and then eventually another move to the downside. So it's unfinished, but I just want to show you, maybe there are some Elliott waivers here watching this video that are like, hey, this might be interesting. Let me work stuff out. And then feel free to post it in Discord as well. Share your analysis. I will share it throughout the day as well. I do have a busy day because it's King's Day in the Netherlands today. So it's a party day. Then the final scenario, which yesterday was a potential preferred scenario, but of course, by now, not anymore, where over here, we had the long positions. Now, tr how, how do you trade this based on Elliott waves, right? Of course, this is educational, guys. You need your own plan. But we had two potential trading setups, which, which worked out brilliantly. And especially if price is pushing up, stop losses should be at least break even from an Elliott wave point of view. However, even better from an Elliott wave point of view is going along with the trend. So if this volume is increasing, volume increasing, volume increasing, volume increasing, as you can see over here as well, what you eventually want to see at least is a retracement, another high being made with lower volume. And that is not what we got. But as long as the volume is increasing with the pushes, you will, based on Elliott waves, move the stop loss to just before the push. So over here, we had a push, stop loss goes here. Next push, stop loss goes here. Next push, stop loss goes here. Because what you're waiting for is a push with less volume. And that is the moment that might be then a wave five and the stop loss can go back here. Because if this is then a five wave structure, you expect a three wave retracement for then continuation. So then you can extend the trade to the upside. But as long as we're pushing on higher volume, the stop loss can go with the trend, right? So in this particular scenario, the stop loss from an Elliott wave perspective was going to be around here and you would be stopped in profit with these particular scenarios, right? Now, in this case, what we're looking for is this to be the low of a wave four and then a bigger high time frame ABC, where this wave B is not the cleanest, got to say, it also retraced to the rare target, the 1.618, where on the daily, we didn't close daily candles above it with confidence, but 
it's still a rare target where this then is a five wave structure to the downside in a wave C and we are now looking for a move to the upside which is then impulsive so we were looking for a five wave structure as a wave one then another correction down three four five however this over here does not look impulsive this looks now like a corrective structure and therefore this scenario is definitely an alternative and maybe even i think invalidated uh, i didn't have much time this morning but it's it's just invalidate this can't be the low of wave four anymore because this is a corrective structure all of this and not an impulsive structure so this is now officially kind of of the cards where either this scenario is something i'm going to be looking for for a high of c or y where afterwards we get another move down or I'm looking for this to be a three wave structure then we have some sort of a three wave structure where we do take the highs and then move down again so i am looking for eventually lower prices where the first resistance is going to be the blue target box for me over here sitting at about 30.2k to 30.4k with the one-to-one -one in there as well so a lot has happened i hope i dis uh, dissected it for you and, and explained a little bit about what has happened how you could have traded it and what i'm looking for next so i hope this video was helpful or valuable to you please check out the macro and the high time frame video if you're interested and for now thanks for watching and subscribing and i will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.